Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing my first live playing, and I'm going to show you guys step by step the whole entire thing. So check it out. We're going to call this K1 Beginnings. I do have it in survival mode, and the difficulty will be normal, and I'm definitely going to play with a city texture pack. That's actually one of my favorites. So, I like it. It's more clean. It's more crisp. It's kind of my thing. Eh, let's face it, I'm from New York, so you know we like the city. So we're going to play with them, we're going to see where we start off at. <clears throat> so, let's begin. Let's see, let's see. Okay, not too bad. I mean, thank God I ain't starting in the jungle. I mean, this is actually not a bad spot. Alright, I got my little chest over here of items to begin with. I know you guys might not like that idea, but... You know, I do like to have a little support <laughs> at one point. So let me put these items back inside. I like to organize my stuff a little bit. And let's check around. Alright, where are we? The map. Okay, not too bad. Let me get this chest because we're definitely going to need that later. Considering I have no resources. And I know torches could be a tremendous help. Alright, let's look around. Let's see what's what, where the hell I'm at. Okay, alright, so we got a little desert biome right over here in this section, which is cool. I also love the desert biome, which is pretty awesome. But I need a village. Check that out! Alright, so we did find a village. I mean, off the bat. I mean, really, that, that really doesn't happen that often. But that's cool. We got a village right here on the spot, and that's perfect. Awesome. All right, so I see some cows. I'm definitely going to kill that. Oh, I love this. We got tons of animals. Oh, more cows and pigs. Why am I calling the pigs cows? Anyway, we got the cows and pigs. I'm definitely going to kill that. I need the meat. And my main goals here, especially with villages, is one, I like to check if there's any blacksmith. Because they always have good items. The well, majority of the time. But besides that, I like to see what the villagers are trading. I mean, we got to know what they're trading. Because at one point, you know, I want to make some business. They might have some valuable items that I really can't get anywhere. And at one point, I want to make a little villager trading system. Now, I made one previously on a tutorial. But, I mean, to do a survival, I got to know where the hell these guys are at. So, let's see. Let's check it out. Let's check out this really cool village. I mean, it's pretty big, to be honest. It's not too bad. I mean, we've got a ton of little houses, nice church. Okay, not too bad. Not really what I'm looking for, but not too bad. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's keep walking around. Let's check it out. See, man, they don't have a blacksmith. I'm looking for it. I ain't seeing it. But if you look up ahead, I think I, think I see something that really caught my eye. Now, I got a gut instinct. I, I think there's something out there, guys. All right, we're going to go check that out. We're going to go straight on, and we're going to see what's over there in that desert. Now, you can tell with structures. They generally have a certain type of structure, but when they start looking a little funny, a little more squared out, you know I got to check it out. I mean, come on. It has to be something. Oh, yeah. I see it. It's a desert temple. Awesome. I love those. They always have good items. Now, the thing is, with this one, I am definitely want to see if we have any saddles off the bat. Saddles are my big thing because I love riding with horses. So I'm hoping in this desert temple, we're going to at least have one saddle. That's the goal. I want one saddle. And then at one point, we need a horse. Because honestly, I hate running around, especially with a large map, and your health goes low. Not cool. So, let's see. All right, it's still daytime. Let's, let's dig down. Let's see what's down here, man. Let's check it out and see what's going on. It's kind of exciting. You know, I always wonder, how come there's never any, like, mobs that spawn down here? Then again, that would be pretty messed up, especially with that pressure plate down there. I mean, everything would explode instantly. That would definitely mess up my day. So let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Add a torch right there. See, I knew that would come in handy. 
And every time I break down here, I always like to make a little spiral stairs, you know? It makes it easier for me to come up and down. That pressure plate is always the first thing I break before I get down. All right. All right, so let's check this chest out. Oh, look at that. Enchantment book with some emeralds. Got some bone. Uh, raw flesh. Uh, was expecting. And some iron ingots. Awesome. Let's break that. Oh, we got some bones. Eh, not too bad. It wasn't a bad chest. We're going to break that too because I always like to get the chest. And trust me, guys. I always use it and I always stack it up with stuff that I need or this thing I come across. I mean, not for nothing. You guys ever made like chests? You notice how much wood they actually take? Crazy. And of course, we definitely got to get that TNT. All right, so we didn't get the the saddle. Didn't happen. Just didn't happen. All right, not a problem. We're gonna keep searching for that because that's my thing. I love riding with horses. Horses to me are like the best way to transport. I mean, you could literally take a horse anywhere, and you don't lose health. I mean, you don't lose heart. You don't get hungry quick. And it's to me, it's like the fastest way to travel. I mean, come on. Not for nothing. Night, it gets qu it gets dark quick, man. And to me, time is money. So I definitely got to get my stuff on point. All right, not too bad, not too bad. All right, so let's look around again. We're gonna get up top. We got a nice little airborne view over here. Let's see what we got. All right, where to go? Right, let me check the map. You know what? Let's go more north and see what happens. I'm pretty sure there's more to this desert, and I just I like to travel. I mean, I like to take that risk of just going out there, not knowing what the hell's out there, and just seeing what's up. I mean, I know a lot of people would normally like to just save resources and kind of make it through the night. Nah. I kind of do it backwards. I kind of search around so I find something and keep searching and kind of bust right through the whole night scene a few nights. But once it gets started getting crazy, then I start cleaning some sheep, so forth and so on. So I'm kind of time lapsing this a little bit because this was a long ass walk. And from the looks of it, I was really happy because we actually found another village. Look at that, look at that. Another sand village. Oh, sweet. that's fucking awesome. Woo, that's good. Okay. Now, I'm hoping that this one also has a blacksmith. Oh, do you see that? That's like the perfect temple just standing right there in the center of nowhere. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely making that in my house. Oh, I love this map already, man. So much in just one map. I mean, I already made this in a large scale. Oh, look at this. The blacksmith. Now, we got to see what's up inside. Thank God. I'm hoping there's a saddle. <sighs> Shh. The fuck. All right. No, there ain't no saddle. So, that's all right. I mean, we did get some obsidian. About seven of them, which is perfect. And I got a nice little chest. Awesome. Okay, that's cool. That's not too bad. I mean, it could have been worse. I could have got, like, sticks and, and bread. All right, so we got a lot of um, food here. I, I do, I'm do. i getting low on food here. So you know what? Um, a friend of mine told me that you can actually use stick as fuel. So you know what? We're going to place some sticks in there. Got nine pork chops. Let's cook that up. And I'll get that later. Now, once again, I'm going to check these villagers, see what's up, see what they have to offer. Ah, you see? So I'm talking about it. These villagers are awesome. Especially the priest. I mean, they offer the coolest stuff to buy. I mean, diamond shoes? Come on. I mean, I didn't have enough emeralds. But, you know, there's something to look forward to. So let me place on my chest here on top, and this is where I'm going to put all my valuables. I'm going to organize all my stuff, make sure everything's set up correctly. It's going to be a long day today, guys. We're going to be searching around. We're going to be looking at stuff. I mean, I really want to get some good items. And my goal today is to get a saddle. So, let's see. Let's see what's going on on the map. 
Uh, we got a lot to do. All right, so check it out. It is daylight, and it's looking good. Sun is up. We made it through the night. It was easy. <laughs> Not really. I actually got my ass beat a few times with spiders, but it's going good. Now, let me check the pork chops. Uh, we're going to put more inside. I actually got a little more resources, some wood, to cook some more pork chops. And there aren't flesh ain't doing that. Let me organize my stuff a little bit. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, not too bad. So we're going to time last a little bit more. I'm going to get my pork chops. Like I said, guys, we got a lot of land to cover. Now, this perfect desert temple. We're going to see what's inside. And trust me, guys, it's going to be something juicy. I just feel it. I know it. Shit, I hope so. But, yo, are you serious? A skeleton? Honestly, is there anyone else in here? Hello? Come on, man. A brush. Fucking gonna jump me out of nowhere? Seriously? Come on, not cool. Alright, so let's go down. We're gonna dig down and create these nice little staircase. I wanna see what's down here. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some good chests, some good items. And I'm hoping we get a saddle. Don't judge me, guys. If you guys haven't noticed, I have done tons of tutorials on horses. Oh. And on our first chest, we got diamonds and gold. I mean, come on. That's that's a good omen to me, man. That's, that's nice. Let's check over here. Oh, look at that. Let's check over here. Eh, that's all right. It's kind of expected. Not really what I'm looking for. And here we go, guys, the last chest. Soldier boy, I'm in it. Oh. Why me crack it? Why me roll? Why me crack that soldier boy? That Superman, that oh. all that why me you? Crack that soldier boy. Why me you? Crack that Beautiful. Oh my god. I am fucking happy. Did you not see what we just got? We got the saddle. We got it. Oh my god. I'm, I'm ecstatic, guys. We got the saddle. Exactly what I wanted, man. Oh, this desert temple is awesome. I am so making this my place. All right, so let's go back. All right, we're going to keep looking around, see what's up, see what else is around here. And let's keep walking. Might be something else around here. Let's check. Oh, look what we got here. We got a dungeon. A nice little spawner spot, and they always have chests with items. Look at that, that's perfect. Now, just for the future, I will be making this into a um, XP farm. So that's going to be interesting. All right, let's dig some of the sand out because I definitely need to know where the hell that chest is. Holy shit. Let's see. Let me kill that guy. Let's hope, man. Let's see what I get. Soldier boy, I been it. Oh. Why me crack it? Why me roll? Oh, yo, this day is too crazy. Are you serious? I got three saddles in one shot? Really? Oh, this day is coming out way too beautiful, man. All right, so now's the nighttime. I've been searching literally all day for a horse, and I found this white stallion. Now, he's going to be mine. I don't care what, what I have to do. It's going to take me the rest of the four days. I don't care how long it takes. I'm getting that horse. So let's see, maybe I can get in one shot. Can I, can I, can I? Nah. <laughs> Why would it be that easy, right? Let me kill these spiders off because they're super annoying. And let's get back on the horse, man. Now they say you got to go on the horse about seven times at most for it to be tamed. And let's see, I think I went on it like, what, four times already? That's five. Let's see, let's see, six. Oh, this horse is feisty, man. I was expecting it to be smooth, but <laughs> it's really not working with me. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. We got it. Now, guys. Now, at this point, I'm going to get some sheep. It's been like, what, two, three nights already? No, this is... We're getting way too crazy. And, and if you notice, the amount of mobs that are outside are ridiculous. I don't know if you guys see it, but trust me, man. They have been harassing the hell out of me. 
And look at this. We got all this sheep right here. So I definitely need to make a bed. Got to craft one. Look at that. They're shooting arrows at me. Are you serious? Come on. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Seriously, zombie, bro? I'm in the middle of doing stuff here, and you're going to interrupt me. All right, so we, our goal here is to get us some <laughs> to craft a bed, if I can make it out alive. And just get out of here, man. It's, it's crazy at night. It's way too much for me. Man, I feel like a noob at this point. Anyway, I mean, at least we got some items. We got enough uh, wool to craft a bed, which is perfect. And we got to bounce. I mean, there were way too many zombies. I mean, it looked like a disco club. We got, we got riches, uh, witches on the right. We got zombies, spiders, skeletons. I mean, the whole squad is here. And this horse is way too slow. Oh, look at that. We got two baby horses, which is awesome. And what I plan on doing is, you know what? I'm going to take a chance, and I'm going to breed one of these horses. And my luck, I still didn't get enough hay to breed one to full adult. All right, so we're going to go check the village out, see if they have any more hay, and then we're going to breed that as well. And kind of take it from there, you know what I mean? Should I just passed it. Now, guys, I will be talking about a bunch of stuff in this, all right? It's my Let's Play. It's my first one, so just kind of bear with me. And if you guys want to give me some advice, that's awesome, too, you know what I mean? Oh, I hate skeletons. Does anyone know the best way to kill a skeleton? Because they're so annoying. It's like their accuracy is like perfect. Yes. Okay, let me get the saddle on. Get the saddle on. All right, we got to bounce. Oh, look at this bad boy. This is. Oh, this horse is fast, man. Look at this. Oh, this thing is a beast. Oh, this shit is awesome. I love it. All right, well, I want to go back on this horse, get my saddle back, because. He wasn't that special. I'm going with this one, man. This reminds me of the horse in uh, the movie Hidalgo. You guys ever seen that? Anyway, I'll explain that later. It was actually one of my favorite movies. But, um, yeah, man. Um, so we're going to be searching around. Um, I've been doing a lot of stuff. Um, I actually have a lot of plans for the summer, in case you guys haven't known. I do want to go skydiving and parasailing which i want first but that's in the works but like i was saying guys the movie hildago if you guys haven't seen it is one of my favorites it has to do with this horse which was awesome so i want to give you guys a quick rundown of the movie so this guy gets an offer about a mo about going to the middle east to do a race some big tremendous worldwide race now he gets over there and the prince is like dude i like you you sound cool but i want to see what you're about so you know Let's see if you can really do this race, but I got the best horse, but I'm going to let you rock. Now, these two are like the villains, all right? They both, that's the nephew, and that's some American woman who is rich, and they all have their intentions to really destroy the race and kind of, you know, corrupt it in their own way. Anyway, he wins, he does the race, he kicks everybody's ass, and he's like, <laughs> <"Got he." laughs> Then he wins the race. Then he takes the money home and frees like a bunch of horses, and he's like, he has his ranch, and he's like this real cool guy. And it was like a, it was an epic movie. Now I kind of gave you the ghetto version of it, but that's pretty much it. I mean, check it out. I loved it. It was phenomenal. Actually, I ain't gonna lie. I'm probably gonna watch that movie tonight because that's off the hook. So we're gonna check that out later. But anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the game. Um, it's been a good tour. I mean, right now we got a lot of good items. I mean, we got the obsidian. We got three saddles. I got this super fast horse, which shit, I was lucky for. And, you know, everything came out pretty awesome. I mean, I think I want to make that main, that desert village up ahead, the main place. My goal at one point is to create some walls so that none of the zombies could kill the villagers. Because they seem pretty cool and I can really trade with them. And I'm definitely making that desert temple mine. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this. If you could please leave a comment and subscribe. Trust me, guys, your opinions mean the world. And thank you.